Tell her. Talk to her. Okay. Cedric and I sort of, um, baby, help me out, please. Yeah, basically, we were just thinking, what if you moved out? You know, like, what would that be like? What is happening to me? Last year, I was engaged, and now I am at home all day in my underwear, and I'm nobody's nothing. I am going backwards. I am Benjamin Buttoning. Maybe it's time for a one-night stand. Do you think I'm ready? Oh, who cares? I'm ready for you to be ready. Get on that dating site, pick a cute guy. No drinks, no dinner, just a hookup. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Morning, Megan. Morning, Alex. Actually, it's Alec. <laughs> hey, so do you want to grab breakfast or do you normally just take off? Normally? Do you expect me to believe this is your first one night stand? Yes. Come on. I think I'm going to take off. It was lovely having sex with you. Oh, I wish I could say the same. Uh. That's a lot of snow. Hmm. Hmm. Hope you aren't planning on going anywhere anytime soon, because it ain't going to happen. This storm is showing no signs of slowing down. I cannot stay here. This is the worst. Wow, how the time flies. Just make the best of it. Boom! Home run, twins. I bet you 150 bucks you're going to die alone. Well, my future smoking hot widow will gladly accept your money. We're trapped, and as soon as that snow clears, you're gone. Big Mexico gone. We can use this time to be honest with each other and give each other advice and constructive criticism for the next person that comes along. Fine, all right, I bite, go. Okay, lights off, what is that? And you went like way too fast. You started helping yourself a little bit. It's like you were drilling for oil. Boop. Smack it. Oh, oh. Hey, drop some my panties. <sighs> What if we tried again? Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I'm in Hollywood at the Chinese Theater for the Two Night Stand movie premiere. It's a romantic comedy about finding love in a digital age. Let's go talk to all the stars of the film. Do you have any dating advice for gentlemen out there looking for love? Be yourself. Just be yourself, like, there's too many people who try to fake about who, what they are, so, I mean, it's just better just to go out there. If somebody accepts you, they accept you for who they are, you are, and if they don't accept you, then just move on. Because if you try to fake who you are, eventually it's going to come out and they're not going to like you, so why just, you know, break all that up and just, you know, move on. And lastly, how do you feel about online dating? I, I love it. You know, I, I was online dating since, I, since about 10 years ago before even it was a big thing. I was online dating since... It was like a stigma to meet somebody off the internet, but now, I mean, it's like more of a mainstream thing and it's pretty normal, especially with now and everyone's busy lives. So, I mean, I think it's, it's good. It's okay. We're so excited to watch Two Nights Stand. Um, our friends are part of this movie. They produced this. So we're really happy to be here to support them and just the cast in general. We're all about how young Hollywood coming up and we're just excited to see new talent, so we're, we're excited. Have you guys done any online dating yourselves? Um, no, not yet, but I mean, it's always an option, right? <laughs> Do you have any dating advice for women out there looking for love? Oh man, stay oh. true to yourself and make sure that person loves you for who you are. No matter first. what. Oh, yeah. Friends first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, fashion. How do you guys describe your style? Ooh, we like to be comfortable, to be honest, but at the same time kind of be fun and like different, wear, couture, urban. Yeah, street, street, yeah, street couture. Yeah, Usually we call it street couture. Yeah. <laughs> and then as far as music, what do you guys have coming up? Uh, we actually we released our EP, 90s Baby, um, in November, and we're working on new material right now. Um, and we're doing shows throughout. Yeah, go ahead. And we have a lot of new music coming out, and we released the EP last year, so, and we had our single, You, that was playing all over the radio over the summer. And what we're gonna do now is work on our new single and release a lot of new content, new videos, and a lot of new stuff, so we're really excited with shows too. <laughs> What made you guys want to be part of this movie? 
as soon as I read this script, I just thought it was so funny and something that uh, if I was uh, somebody going to see a movie about two young people that meet and get stuck together, I would want to see it. It's just so, so funny and fun. How is this different from anything else that you've done? This is very different. Um, I haven't I haven't made a movie like this in a very long time, movies and it actually... <laughs> the budgets are about 50 times as big as the budget of this movie. This, this movie, to be honest, taught me how to produce again, is what this movie did. Um, really, you realize like you have, everything is done from the bottom up. You have to do it with your hands and relationships and favors. And I mean, we had, let me tell you, we had zero money. I really mean we had zero money. And to deliver this type of, of level of film with this type of cast, this type of director, you know, it makes us feel very, very proud, so. And lastly, what was the best part about the whole experience? For me, it's watching the chemistry of Miles and Annalie together. They just are such an adorable couple. And like the moments that I love most in the movie are just those real moments where those two actors, and they really connect and they're real. And you fall in love with them falling in love. And uh, I guess I'm a softie at heart. But I, I just love watching those two people together on screen. Oh, that's adorable. What about you? What was your favorite part? Um, my favorite part was getting to know this group of filmmakers. Getting to Ruben and I actually met through this script. We had never met before, and we've really forged a great friendship. Getting to know Max Nichols and, and getting to know Miles and Annalie and Cuddy and Jessica, the whole cast was really special and, and friendships that will last a long time. So that's pretty unique, actually. A lot of times you wrap a movie and you're done, and that's that's not the case here. So I just hope the audience really like takes the movie and loves it as much as we do. what I deserve. It's penance. Wow. That is officially the worst review my oatmeal's ever received. It's what I get for slutting it up. Um, so you really think God made this blizzard to punish you for being slutty? No, I don't think God did it. It's ridiculous. I think my grandmother did, and I just don't know how. Right. That makes sense. Hmm. Well, I would prefer not to spend the next 24 hours in an uncomfortable silence with you. So why don't we just pretend that we never had sex? It didn't happen. Uh, and then we can pretend that it's just the weather and not your passive aggressive magical grandmother. This movie was your directorial debut. How was the experience for you? Um, it was thrilling. I mean, I was incredibly lucky to have such amazing material to work with. I, you know, Mark Hammer wrote a fantastic script. And then we were able to get Miles Teller and Annalie Tipton to come in and bring Alec and Megan to life. And, I can't think of any actors I wanted to work with more than the two of them. So, so to have all that come together on my first movie, I couldn't ask for more. That's so great. Have you been looking at other scripts for a long time? And then how did you decide to pick this one? Yeah, no, I mean, it's uh, much to my agent's frustration. I think I'd probably read about 100 scripts looking for, what, you know, what felt exciting enough to be like, man, this is it. I want for all time this to be my first movie. Um, and there was really nothing out there that, was, that seemed fresh and exciting and, and honest to me. Um, and I read this and I just called up. I was like, man, this is the one. I got to do this. Um, so, I, you know, incredibly lucky that that was able to happen. And now just, you know, fingers crossed it happens again soon. Do you have any interesting stories from set you can share with us? Um, absolutely. We, you know, we had this crazy situation where the movie is in part about uh, Megan and the, the, the movie's in part about New York City being crippled by this crazy snowstorm. And uh, while we were shooting, our city was hit by a hurricane, which completely paralyzed Hurricane Sandy, which completely paralyzed New York. We had to stop shooting for two days. We were, people weren't able to get to set because there was no public transportation. We couldn't get any gas for our trucks or generators. Um, so, you know, we found a way to get through it. In the, in the end, we had a result that at least I'm pretty happy about, just like, uh, you know, Megan and Alec had to find a way to get through it. And we hope they're pretty happy with their result. Very interesting. Um, what is next for you? Um, well, right now, after spending two years making this movie, which was a thrilling thing to do, um, it's, it's been kind of an exciting change of pace to get back into the world of music videos, which has been my background as a director. And after spending so long on one project, it's a really nice palate cleanser to uh, be doing something where someone emails me a song and three weeks later it's delivered and on the air. So I think I'll live in that world for a little while before diving back in.
Are you excited to be part of this film? Very. <laughs> okay, what was the best part about filming this? I was naked in one scene. I had to grab my junk. My twig and giggle berries were almost exposed, but I did a real good job at cuffing them. Next. And how is this character different from who you are as a rapper? Not very much. Thanks. <laughs>What was your favorite part about making this film? My favorite part about making this film was uh, craft services. No, I'm just kidding. It was it was cool to it's just cool to do a movie in New York that takes place like around New Year's Eve or in the winter. I mean, I think everybody, you know, as a young actor coming up, you know, it's not as even a young actor. It's just like a young. When I started watching films and there was a movie like in New York with the snow and all that stuff, it's like it just makes you feel good. And so that was. Uh, and that was fun. I mean, it should be every actor's bucket list to make a romantic comedy in New York. Cool. And then real quick, what kind of dating advice would you give guys out there looking for love? Man, I would say just be confident in who you are. I, you know, I think one of the best things about getting older, man, is you just learn more about yourself and you kind of... You know, your 20s is a really interesting time. It's, a, it's people are really kind of discovering a lot about themselves, and you're not. You know, there's a big difference between being, you know, 18, 19, 20, 21, and you know, and in your late 20s. And I think that's great. So if you can meet somebody who doesn't inhibit your own growth and somebody that you can, you know, have fun with life's, you know, life's hard and it's good to share with somebody, but at the same time, it's important for your own, you know, personal growth. So you want to find the right one. is so low, it's so very low. Mm. I sound like a computer virus. What was the best part about being part of this film? Um, 
just everyone that I got to work with and Max, the director, and it just Miles, Scott, Anna Lee, the story, um, being able to do it in New York, just it was just great. Don't forget to catch Two Nights Down in theater September 26th. I hope you had fun tonight. I know I did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cedric and I sort of, um, baby, help me out, please. Yeah, basically, we were just thinking, what if you moved out? You know, like, mm -hmm. what would that be like? What is happening to me? Last year, I was engaged, and now I am at home all day in my underwear, and I'm nobody's nothing. I am going backwards. I am Benjamin Buttoning. Maybe it's time for a one-night stand. Do you think I'm ready? Who cares? I'm ready for you to be ready. Get on that dating site, pick a cute guy, no drinks, no dinner, just a hookup. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, morning, <laughs> Megan. Morning, Alex. Actually, it's Alec. <laughs> hey, so do you want to grab breakfast, or do you normally just take off? Normally? Do you expect me to believe this is your first one-night stand? Yes. Come on. I think I'm going to take off. It was lovely having sex with you. Oh, I wish I could say the same. Uh. That's a lot of snow. Hmm. Hope you aren't planning on going anywhere anytime soon, because it ain't going to happen. This storm is showing no signs of slowing down. I cannot stay here. This is the worst. Wow, how the time flies. Just make the best of it. Boom! Home run, twins! I bet you 150 bucks you're going to die alone. Well, my future smoking hot widow will gladly accept your money. We're trapped, and as soon as that snow clears, you're gone. Big Mexico gone. We can use this time to be honest with each other and give each other advice and constructive criticism for the next person that comes along. Fine, all right, I bite, go. Okay, lights off, what is that? And you went like way too fast. You started helping yourself a little bit. It's like you were drilling for oil? Boop. <laughs> Smack it. Oh, oh. Hey, drop some my panties. <sighs> What if we tried again?